Why choose ProPak for your distribution system? Sanitation, sanitation, sanitation. We have a complete cantilever design main belt and all auxiliary belts for quick cleaning and accessibility. A little bit of history of myself. I am second generation packaging machinery. Uh, my dad started uh, his packaging machinery company called TechPack Automated Systems, and that was in 1952. I went through as a machinist by trade, I was building machinery, and then we continued to, to work in the packaging machinery area. So I actually started in the packaging machinery area, selling horizontal wrappers and feeding systems and distribution systems in 1987. Machines in the 80s were so difficult to clean and access. With that depth of knowledge within this area allows us to continue look at future challenges and make sure the company is addressing them. We listen intently to our customers even though we've been in business for 24 years. Our main belt is full cantilever design. You can take the entire belt out for cleaning and sanitation. And yes, we provide the carts that it all goes into to make sure you can take that, clean, sanitize and bring it back. But that's where we're very different to our competition. In that area, every component is marked with an identification and a location. As the sanitation crew are disassembling the machine, they disassemble, place on carts. Those carts are then brought into the sanitation room, sanitized, returned to the production line. At which point we ensure in a toolless environment that all rollers, all catch bins end up in the appropriate position, ensuring a very smooth startup once we do fire up the line. What is very unique about our machine is the cantilever design main belt. So sometimes those belts can be two meters wide and we have the ability to take that belt out completely for sanitation, which is, is a key area in the, all the demands for the allergens that customers are dealing with today. After it's sanitized, that we ensure that the machine is fully assembled and startup is smooth. Sanitation is really a very key part of the ProPak system. If we look at the distribution, we have the ability to feed 1,200 products per minute Greedy Boy. So we'll accept 600 products per minute at the first leg, 600 products per minute on the second leg, and the third is a standby wrapper waiting for the opportunity to engage if machine one or machine two were to stop. If machine one and machine two were to stop at the same time, machine three would take 50% of the production. Once we have very little accumulation, we have the opportunity on the fly to move to a distributed system. So instead of running at 600 a minute, we run 400 products per minute to each wrapper. We can run product that is out of spec much easier than we can at 600 a minute. So by running at 400 a minute allows you to optimize the complete line. 600 a minute if it's a molded product isn't an issue, but a lot of the baked products we have a lot of variance in size. The customer can't always hold their tolerance. If we look further into depth when we talk about our refeed system, our refeed system is allowing us to process WIP. The refeed system in processing WIP can be done many ways. A lot of times we find if the product is stable enough, we will actually accumulate wrapped product versus accumulating naked product. You can imagine if you have 2,000 bars a minute coming at you and the system shuts down, you'll have be buried in a mountain of product in a matter of seconds. For example, we say we have 30 rows per minute coming. We have 30 opportunities to populate the distance between rows with our pushers. So we populate the distance between rows, which means the system downstream that is metering to reduce the gap between rows doesn't have to work as hard and it's a natural fit for us to repopulate rows not waiting for an entire row to come that we can refeed. So with this continual refeed system has been very successful. It is unique, it is robust, it is sanitary and it works. So we do everything we can to ensure that that line continues to run and we have provisions in place allowing us to alert an operator. One customer specifically communicated under no circumstances do we stop the line. No circumstances. And what does that mean? So we lose air to the line. The air pressure goes down. 
Yes, we have systems in place that are monitoring the air, but we don't stop the production line. We'll alert an operator that there is an issue, and the operator can immediately address that issue, but we don't stop the line. What we do is we ensure that we can support the system completely remotely. If a customer has an issue, we have the ability to go online, get a full look at the control architecture, and, and make changes to that from our offices here. That is where technology is, is going. We do not allow a machine to leave here without an E1. So we ensure that we test the E1 and we have full communication here prior to it leaving our factory. So we can fully support it, whether it's somewhere in the United States, whether it's in Mexico, Colombia, wherever it is, we know that we can support that machine. All of our systems are world-class and we look at what operators are required we look at what their tasks are and we make sure that they are positioned within the line to ensure that it is a operation that is world class.